How's it going guys, my name is Taz Variant, and today we're finding out what my Patronus is, what house I'm sorting into, and finding out which wand chooses me. If you haven't done so already, you can get sorted yourself at HogwartsLegacy.com. Once you get to the official website, you can click Unlock Exclusive Rewards, and it will bring you to this page showing us some in-game goodies we can get for taking the official Wizarding World sorting quiz. We've gone over the contents of these exclusive rewards in a recent video I made if you want to check that out. Scroll down the page and you will see a Connect Now option. This is so you can connect your Hogwarts Legacy, Wizarding World, and WB account, so that way your results can come to fruition in your playthrough. Also, if you wish to not get sorted this way, you can get sorted in-game and choose the house of your liking. If you don't have a Wizarding World or WB account, it will prompt you to create one. Once you get through these steps, we're now ready to take our first step into the Wizarding World. First up in the process is creating a portrait. We have a decent amount of options here, starting with the face. We can choose our facial structure, our skin tone, our eyes and eyebrows, a pair of glasses, our nose shape, and how we want our expression. Next, we choose our hair and hair color. These options also come with various hats and hoods. There's an option for some facial details as well, things like freckles and moles. We also have an option for facial hair if desired. Then we choose our attire, our accessories, a pet companion, and of course, the background. The Patronus is an advanced form of magic that even skilled and experienced wizards can struggle with. Let's see if we can figure mine out. Just a side note, I don't know why this was so laggy while going through it, but let me know if you have the same issue. Here we have three choices, and must choose quick. I choose Blade, as it's reliable. This time we get two choices. I choose Blood, for family. Again, three choices. I choose Sense, as it encompasses all three. We now have two choices. I choose Found, because my mind is clear. Finally, we have three choices. Love, Trust, and Hope. I choose Love, as the others come with it. After gathering our thoughts, we gather our Patronus. My Patronus is a mountain hare. A mountain hare means you find strength and growth meaning you're the strongest when you can look back and see how you and your loved ones have changed over time. Next, what I'm most excited for, the sorting ceremony. Every witch and wizard has a house that they belong to. This house is predetermined by fate and is revealed by the sorting hat. Let's find out which house I belong to. When sorting, you get to choose from a variety of cards. The choices you make determines your house. Go with your gut. Don't put too much thought into it. We want to see our true house. River or forest? I choose Forest, as there are more opportunities. After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? I choose Miss You, but Smile, as I want to create good memories. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? I choose the cat, as they're independent. I make it a tabby cat because it reminds me of my old cat. Once every century, the Flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, it would smell of... I chose the sea, as it smells like home. Which of the following would you most like to study? I chose ghost, as I'm genuinely interested in the subject. Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? I choose being ignored. Everyone should have a voice. You and two friends need to cross a bridge, guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he'll let all of you pass. What do you do? I chose to volunteer to fight, as I would never want my friends to get hurt. Heads or tails? Tails never fails. The sorting hat is ready to make its decision. We sort it into Gryffindor. Very interesting as I'm a Leo in the house crest is a lion. Finally, it's time to get a wand. As we all know, the wand chooses the user. Again, we are met with a series of questions, starting with, would you describe yourself as average height, tall, or short? I chose tall, as I'm taller than average. What color are your eyes? My eyes are brown. Were you born on an even or odd number day? I was born on an odd number day. What do you most pride yourself on? I chose my originality. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. I go left towards the sea, as it reminds me of home. What do you most fear? I chose heights as I'm, well, scared of heights. In a chest of magical artifacts, which do you choose? I chose a bound scroll, out of pure curiosity. Finally, our wand has chosen us. It's a 14 and a half inch pine wood wand with a unicorn core, with brittle flexibility. So what does this mean, and why does it matter? Every part of the wand has a reason for why it's made with that material. Let's look at mine for example. Pinewood. The Pinewood wand always chooses an independent, individual master who may be perceived as a loner, intriguing, and perhaps mysterious. Pine wands enjoy being used creatively, and unlike some others, will adapt unprotestingly to new methods and spells. Dark arts, here I come. Pine wands detect and work best with owners destined for long lives. Finally, the pine wand is most sensitive to nonverbal magic. Unicorn core. Unicorn hair generally produces the most consistent magic and is the least subject to fluctuations and blockages. Wands with unicorn cores are generally resistant to dark arts. Good thing mine is made out of pine wood. Wands with a unicorn core are most faithful of all wands and usually remain strongly attached to their first owner. Unicorn hair doesn't usually make the most powerful wands, although the wand wood may compensate. Again, good thing mine is pine wood. Wand size, 14 and a half inches. Enough said. The wand is a brittle yet flexible wand, so it's pretty durable. Much harder to pull a Ron Weasley. And there we have it. I found my Patronus, I've been sorted, 
and I've got my wand. We're now ready to make our mark in the wizarding world. What house did you get sorted into? And is it what you expected? If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like. If you enjoy the content you see here, make sure you subscribe. Also, I want to thank you guys for 100 subscribers. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.